smiling as it is revealed that she and Harry are expected to attend the coronation of King Charles. Buckingham Palace confirms that Meghan's children have become a prince and princess and that the line of succession has been updated. Meghan enjoys brunch with friends in Los Angeles. A happy on International Women's Day yesterday, Meghan Markle celebrated brunch with pals at a trendy vegan cafe in West Hollywood, just hours after she and Prince Harry said they wanted Archie and Lilibet to be a prince and princess. The Duchess of Sussex grinned as she left the vegetarian and organic Mexican restaurant Gracia's Madre on Melrose Avenue, which makes the claim that it was created out of love for Mother Earth and reverence for all moms. The Daily Mail said that plans are being made by Buckingham Palace for Harry and Meghan to attend the King's coronation. According to insiders, staff members in charge of planning the historic event's logistics have been told to put the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in their schedule for May 6. The couple has not yet accepted King Charles's invitation, according to insiders, but the Lord Chamberlain's office and Master of the Household's department officials are expecting them to come, which is the strongest indication yet that they would show up. Despite criticizing the rest of the royal family and the institution of the monarchy for a large portion of the last three years, this is the case. The couple's attendance at events, their seating arrangements, their attire, and, of course, their security, are all likely to be hotly contested issues. Meghan, who was dressed in 540-pound white Valentino mules, a matching 6,000-pound Chanel handbag, a 3,300-pound Max Mara cashmere coat and 180-pound Valentino sunglasses, waved to onlookers and said, have a good day guys thank you so much, before leaving with two female pals. The Duchess hopped into a waiting 4x4 with tinted windows and headed towards Montecito after brunch at Gracia's Madre, which is well known for its wet burritos stuffed tortillas topped with tomato sauce jackfruit tacos and plantain French toast at up to $15 a dish. The couple's 21-month-old daughter, whom they named Princess Lilibet Diana, had been baptized at their 11 million pounds estate in California, the Sussexes had revealed hours before. It is unknown if Meghan toasted the announcement with one of the 93 tequilas available at the establishment. Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet have been added to the line of succession, and Buckingham Palace today confirmed Harry and Meghan's choice. There is always a seat at Love's Table, according to the Vegan Gracia's Madre website, despite the restaurant's high demand for reservations. When it was revealed that its owners Matthew and Tersa's Engelhard eat meat, vegans criticized them. The children were referred to on the Buckingham Palace website as plain master, and Miss Mountbatten Windsor up until 9.30 a.m. this morning. Now they are Prince Archie of Sussex and Princess Lilibet of Sussex. It happened soon after their parents, who live in California, defended their choice to use the titles by claiming that Archie and Lilibet have a birthright to the titles of Prince and Princess. Although only disclosing the situation yesterday, the Duke and Duchess stated that it had been resolved for some time with King Charles. During the Queen's funeral last year, his Majesty is rumored to have assured Prince Harry that his children will be permitted to be referred to as Prince and Princess. The children's titles have been a birthright ever since their grandpa became king, according to a spokesman for Harry and Meghan. For a while now, this issue has been resolved in accordance with Buckingham Palace. But yesterday, when the couple revealed that their 21-month-old daughter Lilibet had been baptized in California without Charles, Camilla, William, or Kate in attendance, she officially received the title of princess, the couple's 21-month-old daughter Lilibet. When the queen passed away six months ago, sources close to the Sussexes claimed they were angry that Buckingham Palace took so long to acknowledge Archie and Lilibet's titles. When Charles succeeded to the throne in September, the titles of the Prince and Princess of Wales and their three children were quickly modified.